Okay, so today we're going to go over the inverse Laplace transform. All right. So uh, we'll start out with uh, just the polynomial types first. So one is going to equal the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s, and t to the n is going to equal the inverse Laplace transform of n factorial divided by s to the n plus 1. So it's basically just undoing the Laplace transform um, that we did from uh, the last class here. So <clears throat> let's say we wanted to do the inverse Laplace, tra Laplace transform of 1 divided by s cubed. Right. Okay, so we're thinking that this is, all right, so this is going to be related to uh, this guy right here. So uh, n, it, well, in that case is 3, so n plus 1, n is going to be 2, okay? But we don't have a 2 factorial on top of this problem. Now remember, you can multiply inverse tra Laplace transforms and Laplace transforms by constants, and it doesn't matter because it's just an integral. Remember, uh, the Laplace transform is just an integral, so we have linearity and can be multiplied by a constant. So, <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is the same thing as 1 divided by 2 factorial times L inverse now of 2 factorial divided by S cubed. Okay. So that would equal 1 divided by 2 factorial and then multiplied by T squared. Okay, that's interesting. Right. And we can do this through um, linearity as well, so if we say L inverse of 1 over S squared minus 48 divided by S to the fifth. Okay. Well, the first thing to do when doing this inverse transform is to break it into its individual pieces. <coughs> right, that's L inverse of 1 divided by S squared minus L inverse of 48 divided by s to the fifth power. Okay. Okay, we have a little bit of an issue with this inverse uh, transform right here. Okay, so we have 48 divided by s to the fifth. Okay, so remember that it's n factorial divided by s to the n plus one, so in that case, n is just four, okay? So uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2, okay? So that's 6 times 4, which is 24, but we have a 48, okay? So we're going to have to pull one half out of that thing. <clears throat> so I mean, we're going to have to pull a 2 out. So that's going to be L inverse, all right? Well, 1 factorial is just 1 factorial. It's just 1. We don't have to influence that guy at all. And then this is minus 2 times L inverse. Now that would be 4 factorial, which is 24, divided by S to the fifth. So we just pull the 2 out of that thing. Okay? All right, so at this point, we can say, yeah, um, what is this going to be? This is just going to be T to the power of 1, because we just have a 1 factorial and then minus 2, and this is going to be t to the fourth power. All right. All right, let's try something bigger. Let's say we wanted to do the inverse Laplace transform of, let's say, s plus 1 to the third power divided by s to the fourth. Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to expand this thing. So that's going to be the inverse Laplace transform of s cubed plus 3s squared plus 3s plus 1. Now all of that divided by s to the fourth. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do our division. That's going to be the plus transform, that's going to be 1 divided by s plus 3 divided by 
S squared plus three divided by S cubed plus one divided by S to the fourth. <clears throat> okay, now let's break it into its individual pieces. So, that would equal the Laplace transform of inverse of Laplace transform of one divided by S plus L inverse of three divided by S squared. Plus L inverse, this would be 3 divided by S cubed. And plus L inverse of 1 divided by S to the fourth. Okay. And now, all of these, we want to turn these back into polynomials. So um, we have to think what numbers are going to be associated with it, each one. Uh, this guy's just going to turn into a 1, because L inverse of 1 over S is just 1. Um, this guy should have a 1 factorial. That 3 should not be there. So we're going to have to pull that 3 out of that. Okay? This one should not have a 3 either. It should have a 2 factorial. So we're going to have to pull that 3 out and insert a 2 factorial. And this one right here, that should have a 3 factorial. So we're going to have to multiply by a 3 factorial divided by a 3 factorial. So <clears throat> before we do the inverse, let's go ahead and Simplify this out a little bit so that we can do it. Okay. Now this one right here, this needs a two, but it has a three. So I'm going to say three divided by two times two, you know, two factorial, divided by s cubed. Okay. Now this last one is supposed to have a three factorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by three factorial divided by three factorial. So that's one divided by. 3 factorial times L inverse of 3 factorial divided by S to the fourth. Okay. All right, so we have our 0 factorial, our 1 factorial, our 2 factorial, and our 3 factorial. So at this point in the problem, we can say, yeah, I can go ahead and do the inverse uh, Laplace transform. And so that's going to equal now 1 plus 3 times T, now plus 3 divided by 2 times T squared plus 1 divided by 3 factorial multiplied by t to the third power. So that's how you do uh, the inverse and plus transforms when talking about turning it back into a polynomial.